the grade four math practice test for TN. Ready? Question number eight. Now there's a few ways that you can get to this answer. Some of them are very quick. It just depends on where your skill level is. And just pick whatever works for you. Eleanor is making sand art. She puts one half cup of each of 10 different colors of sand in a bottle. So she's has 10 different colors in this bottle. So I'm going to make a little visual representation down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right, a couple more. And then each one of these is a half. And we're just going to add all those together. And if you do this, you'll get 10 over 2, and then we can work on that. But what we could also do is group things together. If you have two one-halves, so if I have this, and I have this one-half filled in, and then I have this one-half filled in, that's one whole, right? So I'm just going to group together groups of two one-halves, and each one of these represents a whole. So one, 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 one. And last time I checked, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 5 total cups. Now we have this 10 over 2 thing down here. Well, so we could just do the division there. Uh, if you don't really know the division, you can think, well, what do I multiply 2 by to get 10? Well, I know that 2 times 5 gives me 10. So I could work at it's sort of in reverse or opposite operation, which is division, and I could say 10 divided by 2 is the other number, so that would be 5, and that gives me my 5 cups. Another thing you could do, because this is just a lot of adding, multiplying is just a lot of adding. That's the reason multiplying exists, so you don't have to add so many times that it becomes ridiculous. So you just say 1 half, and then you're going to multiply that by 10, and if you know the strategy for that, to do multiplication of fractions. 10 as a fraction, if it's a whole number, anything that's a whole number is itself over 1. So if you had a million, well, a million as a fraction is a million over 1. And I multiply the numerators, that's the top, and then I multiply the denominator separately, that's the bottom, and end up with this. And then we get back to this whole thing. So we end up with 5 cups. Or... If you really wanted to think about it, and sometimes some of you may be able to wrap your brain around it very early on, you say, oh, there's 10 colors and they're half a cup each. Well, if I take 10 and find half of 10, well, half of 10 is 5, right? So then that would get you to 5 cups as well. So whichever method works best for you, that's the method that you should do. But find one that you can consistently handle and set it up appropriately. Did I write a whole bunch of stuff on the page there? Yeah, you may not have to do that, but it's a good idea to have some plan where you write a little bit of something down just in case you, like a squirrel moves outside, or for me, like a butterfly could go by and then I'm just lost for a second, and then it's hard for me to get back into the problem. So if I leave little visual cues to myself on the paper, it helps me refocus myself back to the page.